fundamentals are essential to fixing your slice. So we're gonna take a look at your grip first. Many people who slice the golf ball have much too weak of a grip, which would mean on my left hand, obviously I'm a right-handed player. When I look down, if you've got a weak grip, that does not have anything to do with how firm your grip is on the golf club. That actually has to do with how much your grip is twisted toward the target or away from the target. So a weaker grip is one where that left hand is twisted toward the target probably a little bit too much. Now there's some great players that play with a little bit of a weaker or more neutral grip, but if you slice the golf ball, this is the first place we are going to look. We're gonna make your grip stronger. So notice when I've got this weaker grip, you can see some of that grip through my left hand if you were standing in front of me and then my right hand is gonna look very much on top of the golf club from this angle. So if I set up with a driver, notice it makes my shoulders point left, it makes my right shoulder a little bit higher than my left. All of that is going to lead to a path where the golf club is swinging left, and that is usually going to lead to a slice. So to fix the grip, I want you to pretend on your left hand like we dipped our left thumb into an ink pad. And on your grip, you're going to grip the, the club mostly in the fingers of that left hand. And then with that ink, make a thumbprint on the back side or that right side of your grip. So I don't want the thumb on top of the club or even on the front side of the golf club. We're making that thumbprint on the back side of the club right there. And now you can see I've covered up the grip with my left hand here. It's, looking great. I can see one or two of my knuckles on that left hand when I look down and I really feel that the grip is mostly in my fingers here. It's not laying into my palm very much at all. With my right hand, I'm going to go ahead and match that on there. If I had ink on my right thumb, it would be slightly on the front side of the golf club, pinching ever so slightly. I don't want that right thumb on the back side of the grip as well. I want it a little bit on the front side of the grip. So now you can see those V shapes that my thumb and my hand make here are parallel to each other and pointing at my right shoulder. So somewhere between right ear and right shoulder would be appropriate for a bit of a stronger grip here. That's gonna allow you to set up properly to hit these nice big draws that we're going to learn how to hit. So once we've got that nice stronger grip on the golf club, we're gonna go ahead and get set up to the ball. So with driver, I want you to set up with your toes still parallel to your target line. So we're not dropping our right foot back to compensate. We're keeping those toes square to our target line. And then we're simply turning our hips and our shoulders to be angled to the right at setup. And notice what that does to my head as well as the angle of my shoulder. So my right shoulder is now lower than my left shoulder and my head is slightly tilted behind the golf ball. Super helpful as we try and create a path that is more out to the right of our target line to help you create more of that draw pattern. So let's get that grip on there. Got my toes set. I'm gonna drop my right shoulder and my hips a little bit here. And as you can see, we get that really nice draw. No slices here and we're gonna be all set to go hit 14 fairways when we get on the golf course. Let's talk a little bit about the difference when we've got an iron in our hand. So your grip will remain constant no matter what club you're hitting, unless maybe we're hitting some short game shots around the green, but I always would like to see that left thumb making a thumbprint on the back side of the golf club, the right hand matching it, right thumb slightly on the opposite side of the club, very secure with those hands. Now, when we get set up with an iron, you'll notice my spine angle is much straighter over the golf ball, whereas with driver, it's tilted behind the ball a little bit. But with an iron, I still want to see hips and shoulders angled to the right of your target line a little bit. Now that's gonna help again with the club path, making sure we get the golf club moving a little bit more out to the right for you versus coming over the top like we probably do when we hit that slice. So I'm going to set up here, twist my hips and shoulders to the right. Again, noticing the difference between what I'm doing here versus when I had my driver, I definitely tilted a little bit more behind the golf ball. Here I'm staying straighter with my spine, 
but still turning or twisting the buttons on my shirt back toward you over here. That's going to help us create that nice draw pattern. And as you can see, we get a nice draw every time we are done with hitting those slices. You're going to hit more greens and shoot lower scores.